Hey guys, how are you everyone? Welcome to my channel, Awesome Stuff for Everyone. Uh, today the topic is the relation between electric susceptibility and dielectric constant. So today we are trying to uh, derive a relation between electric susceptibility, which is a constant, and dielectric constant. So let's proceed further. So, as you know before that this polarization is directly proportional to the applied electric field on the material. Uh, this means that we are putting a material in an electric field and the material has been polarized. So, as you all know that when we remove this uh, proportionality constant, we get this equal sign with a constant. So in this case, this is chi. This is basically the electric susceptibility, which is defined as, uh, this is basically the degree of polarization of the material in response to the applied electric field, which is externally applied on the material. So this basically tells us about the degree, about how much a material would be polarized in response to this applied external electric field. So proceeding further, as you can see here, I have written this electric displacement. Okay, so after writing this, you have to write this expression about electric displacement, which is equals to polarization plus epsilon naught E. So this is the permittivity of free space. With multiplied when multiplied with e and addition sign with polarization. So putting the value of this polarization chi e from this equation, so you get this. Now what will we do? As you can see here, e can be taken out as a. Uh, this is uh, taken as common and is written outside this bracket. So you are left with chi plus epsilon naught. Proceeding further. Now this chi plus epsilon naught is actually equals to this. Uh, 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 this is the permittivity of the material. Okay. This electric field E, this electric displacement, and this is the permittivity of material. Means dielectric uh, constant as we are trying to derive this relationship between electric susceptibility and dielectric constant. So, when this chi is added with epsilon naught, means the permittivity of free space plus this chi, which is basically the electric susceptibility, this would be equals to the permittivity of the material that we are using and we are applying electric field external on that material. So electric displacement would be equal to the external applied electric field and its permittivity. So now, as we know that this K, uh, which is basically the dielectric constant, is the ratio between this permittivity of the material and permittivity of the free space. So for the value of this one, we can simply shift this epsilon naught over here and we get the value of uh, permittivity of the material, so we can put the value of this over there. So proceeding next, as you can see what I have written here, this epsilon basically is the value of chi plus epsilon naught. So what we will do is, we simply put this value, which we have found right here, we will put the value this. Like this. So k epsilon naught equals to chi plus epsilon naught, just the value of this. Okay, and then we shift this epsilon naught over here and here. So we get this uh, sort of situation where you can see that this epsilon naught get cancelled with this one, and ultimately we would have the answer 1 over here. So as you can see, this. They have been cancelled out equals to 1 and this term as it is and you get the relationship between.
between dielectric constant and electric susceptibility. So what you can do is shift this chi over here and k over here and you will get the value for chi in terms of k. This expression is showing the relation between electric susceptibility and the dielectric constant. This is this equation actually gives the value of dielectric constant in terms of chi. But you can also derive a relation from this equation in which chi is equal to the value in terms of dielectric constant. So guys, I hope you understand how to derive a relationship between k and this chi. So if there is any sort of confusion, you can comment in the comment section below. And if there is any other sort of topic that you want to hear from me, you can also comment in the comment section below. I hope you all get it. And uh, I hope that you uh, really get this because this is a very, very easy sort of calculation. So best of luck, guys. Stay tuned for more videos and please like and subscribe my channel.